In this video, we're going to show you how to remove green screen background from the My Clone videos. Uh, we're going to be using DaVinci Resolve in this tutorial. Uh, again, you can follow along uh, with any of your programs uh, that has green screen removal. Uh, in this particular case, uh, I highly recommend using DaVinci Resolve. It's a free program that Todd Gross introduced to us some time ago. And I have to say that it is the best green screen removal program out there. It, it, make, it makes it nice and clean. You don't see any tinge of green whatsoever when it's removed. There is a specific way that we have to do it, and I'm gonna show you how to take care of that today. The first thing we wanna do is drag the background image onto the timeline as video one. Uh, the reason for this is that's gonna set the size of our render. Uh, in this case, it'll be 1920 by 1080. The My Clones were actually rendered in that uh, format, so uh, that would be the best picture quality. That you can possibly get with these. So we put that as the background layer and then we're going to grab the tower off in this situation. Uh, it could be named something different depending on which character you use uh, but you have an off for the lips off and on for the lips on and the off video is going to be on video two. That's just the second layer. Okay and then we're going to place the Tara on above that as soon as we edit the first green screen. So let's go ahead and do that. We do this first by selecting the color wheel and then we want to come over to the left and select the color picker. Then we want to come over to the right here and the window where it says HSL we want to select that, let it drop down and look for the 3D. We want to select that. Once we have that selected the color picker should be already um, highlighted and we're going to go over to where the green screen is and left click on that. Once that's done, come over to the node window and right click and select add alpha output. Then you're going to go over this blue dot, left click, hold it down and then slide it over to the square and connect it. Notice how it made her transparent. So the next step, okay, we're going to come back down over here to the edit and what we're going to do is you want to be able to move her exactly where you want her. If you want her dead center, then you can just skip this step. Uh, if you'd like to move her to the left or to the right, I'm going to show you how to do that right now. So you come over here to the resize tool, click it, and then click on the video layer. Now you're going to have the ability to move it wherever you want on the screen. Let's say you wanted to move her over to the left and you want her kind of presenting things on her left. So what we're going to do is come over to this area. Notice the flip button. We're going to flip that over and you can see that she was flipped. If you want to keep her to the right, press the flip button and then you swing her over to the right. And once you got her to the right there, you, you put her right where you want her. And once you have that in place, go back down to the color wheel and now we want to be able to have the green transparent instead of her. So you're going to come down to this area and you're going to select invert. And there she goes, she's inverted. The next step you want to do is come over here and select the despill. And that is going to completely clean the green screen from off of her edges. So she is completely green screen free now, which is amazing. Okay, now what we want to do, if you notice, there's some black here. The reason for this is the render was in like 1180 by 1080. So obviously we want the width to fit properly on the background screen, which is 1920 by 1080. So what we want to do now is you want to come over here to the window that says window, select that, and then we're going to select the square box. Notice how it took out everything that's outside of the box and you still have whatever's inside the box visible. Okay, obviously we want her to be visible all the way up to the point where we see this line that separates uh, the, from the picture to the black. Okay, of course we want to just remove the black portion so we're going to move our box to the left and then we want it just to be outside. If you look to the right there, the square, we want to be able to catch the video edge just within the box. Okay, we're going to drag this down 
and then we, oops excuse me bring that back that might happen to you just fix it when you do it and then we're going to come over here and drag this over to the left and what I would do is just make this screen smaller by just uh, rolling the mouse wheel if you have one on there and then just drag this a little bit further because you want to make sure you're right outside the edges of the video picture if not you can cause a little issue there okay now the next step is we're going to come down to where it says softness and you want to bring this all the way down to zero and the reason for this is it creates a softness on the edges which is visible once you make it transparent on the uh, the main video which doesn't look good at all okay so once we got that all situated you're then going to come over here and select this round dot and there you go it is completely transparent so now if we go to the edit window notice you have a complete background and uh, you have her over here to the right as we placed her and once you're happy with that you just come back over here to the resize tool click it and then she's in place now if you look over here to the top right the image is a little off uh, as you can see the little black mark up here the way to fix that is you want to go to your Y coordinate left click inside there put the number zero and enter and that will fix that immediately next thing we want to do is come over down to where it says video 2 right click in that area and add a track we then want to go up here select the GS Tara on or whatever character you have there and put it in that timeline and now we're going to go through the same process to remove the green screen here all right so we're going to go to the color wheel make sure we have the 3d selected which is it, normally it will be here uh, if you already selected it in the previous uh, layer <clears throat> so now we're going to go ahead and use our selection tool to remove the green again come over to the node window right click up oh, excuse me for some reason this just turned to a HSL okay uh, apparently it's because um, it's recognizing the new layer and the new layer actually has to be selected the way we did the previous so let's go ahead and do that uh, we want to select from the HSL area go down to 3d and now we can go ahead select the green color come over to the node window right click add alpha output left click onto the blue dot and then drag that over to the blue square and of course we have our transparent uh, figure here so we're gonna use the invert tool to select that and then of course we want to get rid of all the green so we're gonna select despill so now she's completely cleaned and as you notice again we have the edges that we need to take out in this particular case we're just gonna move her in place where the other uh, figure is so let's go back to the edit window first we're gonna select the bottom layer which is video 2 and we're gonna left click inside to highlight the position X we're gonna right click and copy and then we're gonna select the other layer go back into the X position highlight it by double clicking and then of course pasting the coordinates of the previous layer and then we're going to select enter and as you can see it put her right in place uh, the next step we're going to take out this black section by going to the color wheel go over to the window selection tool and then select the square and then we want to drag that over to the left and of course you can see the separation we want to just get that right edge excuse me that right edge to the outer edge of the left section of that video just stay make sure that it stays within the box just a hair and then we're going to drag the rest of the box over the image like so of course try to make that as straight as possible go up and over the way I showed you before and then we get our we just get that right get the left section over to the left and of course I'm gonna turn the softness down here to all zeros zero and to zero okay 
and then we're going to select this button right here and that is going to create the transparent background and now we're all set go over to edit and as you can see here we have a nice clean picture notice here to the right though okay this is important there's there seems to be a, a discolor here it's brighter on the left hand side and a little darker on the right we're gonna see what that is okay so let's just play with it for a second let's get over to here and drag this over just a little bit more to the right let's see what happens and it looks like we're clean okay so you know you'll have to play with it um, I'm sure you know your program you'll be able to see what you need to fix and be able to fix it accordingly after completing all of this the next step would be to uh, edit this for lip syncing you could find that in the second video uh, that will explain it and actually show you how to do it on the alpha channel uh, but the process is the same. Also, uh, just so you know, you want to try to go with the alpha channel instead of the green screen because obviously there's a lot less steps to work with. So go ahead and, and try that out. I'm sure you'll find that um, a lot easier than what we're doing here. And of course, if you end up purchasing or you already have Video Builder, you won't have to do any lip syncing manually because it'll be automatically done for you. Uh, when you type in the text or add audio and then also you will not have to excuse me edit the transparent background if you own video builder then you will have these automatically unlocked in the app uh, once you make the purchase and if you don't have that uh, accessible then please contact uh, support and they will make sure that they get that open for you